right, to be underway here for So I think Coach Crab is more or less done with this game. But he didn't have a lot of time to practice, seemed too enthralled about doing this. We'll see how he does today. Both players going ahead and taking the bombs right away. Okay. Choke misses a jumper. Not too big a time. Just get some bones, get some uh, hearts up, and go. Players are still pretty close. The crab's taking a little bit of lead. But the boss, the boss pretty much dominated. As long as nobody takes a death. Really set you back. Which gets to the first boss. There's some twosome riding the number two car, the creepy poop. Oh, and Choke is right on him. Order of a boss fight. Which is down to one part, but he needs to be full immediately. Need up to... Doesn't tempt fate at all with that. Moves on to go to. What I think I can. Something with you. Guys, to make them. Somebody watching me. Glad we got something of an audience. Welcome to the party. Yeah. Here in A2, we have the, uh, the level I've never actually played. Do the ceiling one here. I've done it every time I've played this game. It'd be interesting to go through it normal once. The players are still very close. Coach gets a little bit earlier to Army Surplus Special. <laughs> Again, it's still not super. 
couple goofy time jumps. They don't, uh... They're not too dangerous. Jump at the end of the level. Which gets pulled by it. It's a pretty short level, so even if you get knocked in, it's not the end of the level. Which gets hit, but doesn't fall in. Choke doesn't even take the risk. Honestly, or you. Part two of this stage has a lot of options for you to go. And I take the high road or the problem with the low road is sometimes there's an also high. You probably both players in higher, higher paths. separating the two right now. A bit more volume? Is that what you're asking for? Sorry. I didn't have very much time to test these settings. Is that any better? Players entering the boss at the almost exact same moment. Coach misses one bomb, pulls slightly behind. Coke is on, and Coach just is tad behind him. Peter Perfect in his Turbo Terrific, the most annoying boss. In Because he moves very quickly in phase two. Don't know exactly where he's gonna be. He'll easily miss your bombs. Have to wait for the reset. Coach manages to reach the boss first. Choke is only seconds behind. This race has been close since the very beginning, John. 
butter stick. Coach, help us with fast. Oh, there you go. Thought for a moment he was gonna slow the whole time. But yeah, I'm I'm glad that I uh, yeah, was able to talk them into waiting for me to respawn. This is an exciting race. Fortunate didn't get to see this one unfold. They've been basically neck and neck the whole time. It's pretty nuts. We're gonna have to try hard to uh, outdo them. Losers bracket showmanship job. Hey, what's up, CF? Thanks. Thanks for joining. Thanks for the good luck. Players seem perfectly able to handle the uh, water stage here. getting a little bit ahead. Both players struggling with that last crab. Choke makes it to Pat E. Pending. His Converticar slightly ahead. Round two of this boss, or phase two of this boss, or a lot of time saving opportunities. Choke gets three on that first drop. Coach only gets one. Maybe an opportunity for Choke to pull ahead. Choke is done with the boss. And Coach is not too far behind. A commentary rivalry. Now everyone's favorite side scroll. It's Andy Lane. Very, very trolly jump at this level. Hopefully, see two people handle adeptly. Oh, Coach missing the first troll jump. Choke is taken off. Is the trolley jump at the end? Dresses on. What the fuck is this level? Which was a little bit of a scare there. Let's see if he can manage the troll jump. Manages it. So that. that jump early on getting in. Fair bit behind. That's plenty of opportunity to catch back up. These last bosses uh, have a lot of opportunity to save time. Coach taking a little to get some extra bones for a while. While Choke facing off against LP pit stop for a compact pistol. And just phase one fairly quickly. Phase two. Putting choke just exactly one boss fight ahead. Coach Crab deals. Choke is onto the ice level. Luckily, you don't have to deal too much with the ice physics. 
Hold right and jump. I don't really, uh, enter into it. Coach is also done with Penelope. Wipes left on her. Is that what we're saying now? Choke progresses on to the uh, auto jumper level. Oh, auto scrollers. The auto jump. Clouds force you to jump each time. The irritating. Almost taking it into the water there. Oof. Struggling to the left. Get on to the left. Oh, taking his time on the last jumps. Last cloud guy comes to the uh, Really ruin your day. He uh, manages to avoid him. Face off against the crimp. A bailer. is a little bit obnoxious. If you fall down, you can ice fit. Slide all over the place. He choked you. You don't press left or right while you're... Pretty easy. Coach needs to go back up on the clouds. Too. Choke. Deal with the Crimson Hay Bailer. Coach still... About one boss behind. That candy lamp level will be lighter so far. This is good. Took meanwhile moves on to the Burbiella. Yeah, I think you're right there, Josh. It doesn't look like either of these players has an advantage. Rats, it's just uh who can make the fewest mistakes. Oh. Managing suburbia, heading to the tight city. The big city, maybe this is, I don't know. I'm sure it makes sense to think too hard about where places are. Coach getting a little hung up with the flowers. The flowers are a little tricky. Uh, it's completely obvious, but they actually make your inputs, and that's it. They jump, you jump, they jump to the side when you attack. Jumping to the side, it makes it fairly effective at dodging a bomb attack. And have to bait them in, bait them into not being able to dodge it by jumping, but they can't. Meanwhile, Choke takes on the Ant Hill Gang and their bulletproof bomb. One of the more obnoxious bosses. Not quite turbo terrific. Still fairly annoying. seems to be having a fairly good fight against him. This is a couple bombs there, but deals with it fairly quickly. But Coach is still just right behind him. The boss just is... Coach proceeds to the Arizona, Texas level. Arrows and armadillos, I'm not sure what kind of desert land is Coach is having a fair bit more trouble with the anthill gang. Yeah, it looks like. A 
but he manages it. Meanwhile, choke. Quick work of the Texas Arizona. Leads to save. Cave is an interesting level because you have these boulders that are coming at you. Sometimes it looks like you're supposed to backtrack and dodge them, but kind of just over all of them. Now Choke finds the penultimate boss, which is also the easiest boss. You can see, you kind of follow behind him and toss bombs at him. No big deal at all. The uh, Arkansas Chugabug. Choke makes quick work of that boss, as anyone. Choke is on to the final, the final stage of the final segment. It, but. Follow a loss of time. Coach seems to have fallen a little bit further behind. It's Buzz thundered by the final boulder. He'll face off against Arkansas. A different strategy. Really effective. Definitely need Coke to take in a Coke's more aggressive strategy. Chugabug was paying off here. It's taking a bit more time on it, but he manages to wrap it up. Coke is in the home stretch here. Much, uh, not much more left for him to do after this. Ooh. Almost gets hit by the troll fish. Gets hit, almost gets knocked into the water by the That would have been just Coach Nuke back in this race. Coach goes for floating lock. Oh hi, out here. Choke faces off against the Caveman Brothers, or Caveman and Son. What is this? I don't remember what this one is. Dash or something? can't remember the name of this car. <laughs> is, that, is that right, Josh? 13 times possible. His own 11 lives. That would be a fortunate death from Jake. And Choke is done. Choke with 23-26 is now out, out of the tournament. No fear of him winding up position. Uh, let's see, I should get in Discord in case they want to this after match banter. We'll see if he joins us for some match banter. Coach is also on to the last level. Oh, he's taking a death I did. I just saw him take wings. That's a fortunate level to have a death on. As you can see, Coach is now struggling with health. Sounds like we've got Choke here in the commentator's booth. Choke, G. Hey, thank you. How are you doing tonight? Oh, I'm doing all right. Uh, sounds like we've got Choke here in the commentator's oh, booth. I've got Choke's audio on for GG. Turn that off. Sorry about that.
uh, congratulations on getting out of the loser's bracket. You don't have to face off against anyone in the, uh, for the ultimate loser position. Now, how do you feel about that? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually okay with that. <laughs> Ready to be able to focus on the, the other tournament coming up here soon. Uh, are you um, planning to join next month for the SHI tournament as well? Or focusing on, on these other one? tournaments, taking up all your time? Yeah, these things are taking up all my time, man. <laughs> I have to practice more than these other guys do, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, you didn't have to practice more than Coach, it seems. He's, uh, How's he doing right now? He's on the last boss, so it was actually a very close race. Oh, and he just took a death. Um, it was a very close race until the Candyland stage, where he missed that first, uh, the first jump where the dragonfly thing comes and can knock you, and you have to backtrack uh, a fair bit. He missed that yep. one, and then fell. He was about a boss behind. Um, until uh, I don't remember which boss it was, Ant Hill Gang maybe. He fell a little bit more behind. Just couldn't catch up because you didn't really make any mistakes after that. How did you feel about the run? From your point of view, um, I did all right. Um, I think that's pretty close to my PB. I think coach is done. Uh, twenty six nineteen. So only a couple minutes. Right on. I think separation. that's pretty close. Yeah, it's a pretty good run for coach. I know he's been really busy with um, you know, other things, so he hasn't been able to put the time in that he did last month. Yeah, and here he is in the in the commentator booth, coach. Unfortunately, hey guys, you uh, still have to race this game a little bit more. Oh, man, do I really have to play this game again? You you do. You will have to play one more match. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Um, Whatever. Take us through the run. How did you feel about it? <laughs> How'd well, your race uh, go, race, Coach? Uh, go. Good race. Thanks. Appreciate it. It definitely was a little bit better I, uh, than my other one, so. I was doing, it was pretty close for a while. I was doing pretty well uh, until I found out that you won. I was in the middle of C4 when you when I found out that you won. And then I just kind of quit caring, and then I died twice, which ruined my deathless run. It would have been my first deathless run, but oh, nice. uh, that's okay. Yeah, I was messing around with Discord and missed your first death. I didn't, uh, I just, I saw, I looked back and you were <laughs> taking the wings, and I was like, uh-oh, that's not good. But yeah the, yeah, the whole race oh, yeah. was very close until the Candyland stage. You missed that first uh, trolley jump, oh, God. coach. That made me so mad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that that, that could jump. be very and irritating. And it was such a stupid mistake too, because I just didn't use my propeller. That was the only reason it didn't happen. Uh, I missed the exact circumstances. I just saw that you were uh, backtracking. I was like, backtracking. oh no. <laughs> yes, that that was a huge. Yeah, that was like a fifteen second loss right there because of that yeah and then you after that you were that just got a lot of a lot of little quirky it's probably one of the harder levels or one of the, the levels that's most common to drop you back it's got a few spots i could hit you hit you you know yeah absolutely up. yeah that's probably that i think the hardest level is the ice level c1 that's that's the level that always gets me especially when you're jumping on the clouds that part I always have problems with that boss. I don't know. I think it's because I always go into it without I just my bone counts never right. And as soon as you get off a tiny bit or you like you barely push the D pad just more than like, you know, a couple of pixels and you actually start to slide and just then your rhythm's off and it's a mess, you know? Yeah, it's really easy to fall off that little platform if that's your strat. It's just Yeah, I guess so, uh so which clown am I uh, facing in the you know yet? We do not know yet. We'll actually find out um, on Saturday. Josh E. D. and I will face off for the other slot in the Ultimate Josh Loser Josh E. D. Match. and GGT? Oh, man, I really am in the loser's bracket, aren't I? Oh, <laughs> ouch. <laughs> but uh, actually, you know, Josh E. D. has already beat me in this game once. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, you well, know, I went it's... into the losing match last time thinking I had beat Josh E. D. once, so it shouldn't be a big deal, and he... uh he made a fool of me. He got good at roller games, didn't he? Yes, he did. Yeah, but this is the same thing. You know, the, the more matches, even if Coach can't practice that he plays, the, the more he's going to improve. So he's going to be more competitive just naturally as the pro, you know as we progress. So. And I might, have, I might have gotten sub-25 if I actually started, if I actually cared a whole lot on C4, because I was not, once I found out that BGT, I mean, once I found out that choke uh, 
finished, I was just like, oh man. And then oh, I yeah. just started looking around. I was looking at his time and then just kind of, you know, not focusing at all. And uh, then after I did that, that's when I had my first death with that stupid fish. Yeah, you don't have a hiccup in Kenny Land, and then you actually care and don't die, and all of a sudden, you know, you're two minutes faster without even blinking, you know? And not only that, but uh, I had a horrible uh, boss fight with the the guys in the uh, the, the the paddy wagon. Yeah, know? the Ant Hill gang didn't didn't go great for you. <laughs> a lot of missed bombs there. That was yeah. you kind of fell a little bit more behind there, but it was still close enough that like a uh, a late level death from choke would have brought it right back to a super close race. Yeah, I'll need to I'll need to actually practice maybe to avoid this. Uh... Humiliation stream. Although humiliation stream, last time I did it, it was really fun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was. It was a lot of fun. Um, you know, I even got yelled at for having too much fun in the humiliation stream. So, <laughs> yeah, I think that was. I think that was my fault. I think I that was too much fun. Yeah, I should have chosen like Quop or something. Oh, geez. Or Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde. I uh, know that game is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is just fuel for someone who might potentially be picking a game for you so don't don't uh, give them too many I, ideas I, I, I gladly play I, I like playing terrible games so it doesn't matter it would be a humiliation stream if someone picked a good game for me to play <laughs> would it pick a modern game for him <laughs> <laughs> I don't have I don't have any modern games I wouldn't be able right. to play you don't it. have Steam accounts we'll find something fun for you oh yeah. man Buzz is uh, talking some noise here yeah, he is. I'm I'm trying to ignore him. Ah, uh, <laughs> it's probably a good strategy. Speaking of Buzz Thunder, I think uh, I saw it was you, Coach, got Buzz Thundered on the Boulder stage. Uh, I don't know what it means to be Buzz Thundered in this game. Does it mean to get hit by the Boulder and get squashed? Yes, exactly. Maybe it was Hello? Choke. I don't know. I think one of <laughs> one of you did. <laughs> Well, what does it mean to get Buzz Thundered in this game? Yeah, no, you you hit the nail on the head. It was it was just that. <laughs> yeah, the the choke method is uh you are ahead of the race and you take two deaths. It takes two deaths in order to lose the race, and you do just that on the final boss, which is arguably one of the easier ones. Did you die on anywhere today, Choke? No, not today. Yeah, not deathless. Today. Is yeah. That, is that your first deathless? Yep, deathless today. Congrats. And this is about, like, I just PB'd about this time. I ran one run before we, I didn't place my last race, race, and I ran one run, and I got just about this time. Well, I guess, yeah, something like that. Oh, yeah, no, I ended up, this is a PB, I guess, right? My split. Holy crap. I guess, never mind. I guess this was a PB by one second for me. Oh, nice. I could read a timer. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Nice. So I guess that was an okay run for me. Might have been my first like 100% deathless too. There's always seems to be one stupid death somewhere, you know. Yeah, it's very easy to take a take a stupid death on this game, especially in the later levels where the enemies pop out and you know, like coach was saying, as soon as you stop paying attention, like it's very easy to just die. Like it's not a hard especially game, but it does require fast. Well, you focus. miss like one bomb like even playing and all of a sudden there's lag where there wasn't lag and so your timing can sometimes be thrown off too. Cuz now you're having to spam, you know, the, the the float button and it's, you know what I mean? So like your timing's not always the same if you happen to miss one stupid thing or you get out of your rhythm and that's what seems to always throw me off anyways. Man, I haven't even played this game enough to think about the timing and rhythm of the slowdown. Yeah, it's kind of funny that even without very much practice, like it's it's super easy to beat this game in less than half an hour. It's a a big Pretty difference from game. roller games, I think. Yeah, it was fun though. It was Just fun the to guy in last place. Was. Well, you know, most of the guys are. I mean, a couple guys have extreme times and. But it was fun to play a game that you didn't have to practice hours and hours to be halfway competitive with, you know? I liked it. Yeah, I liked uh, I liked roller games a lot better. It was more fun to practice. This game, when I tried to practice it, it was just so boring. Yeah, it's not the most interesting game, but it's fun. I don't know. It's a very casual game, I guess. Yeah, it's fun. To, it's fun to play. It's not. It's not fun to practice speed running. No, <laughs> I, even when I was practicing it, I would just do no reset runs because otherwise, it's like you reset and just play level one over and over. It's super annoying. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, th I think the main uh, thing to practice in this game is the bosses. I mean, I think that's where people lose their uh, most of their time because it's pretty straightforward, just holding holding right the whole time. Yeah, it's just like memorizing when the enemies are coming, so you know when to throw bombs and yeah, hold right. Mm -hmm. But I think, uh, yeah, I think that about does it. Unless anyone has some more comments about runs. No, that's it. I think there's another race tomorrow in the winners bracket. Is that yes, correct? Yes. Um, Angry Larry versus Link Sevens in the winners bracket semifinals yep. is. Tomorrow at 11 Eastern. And then Saturday, we have Joshy D versus BGT3, the heavy hitter in the shitter, the, at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific. So we hope you guys will join us for some more of these. And uh, hopefully I will not see you in the Ultimate Losers game, Coach, but I think... <laughs> It could go either way yeah, at this point. Yeah, Choke's lucky he didn't have to play this game anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks for racing, you guys. Um, we'll catch you later. Thanks for the read stream. BGT, way to do it at the last second like that. It's cool, yeah, man. I really appreciate it, man. Glad to help. All right, we'll see you guys.